hello everyone welcome to my channel in today's video i'll tell you how you can create this beautiful professional looking powerpoint template so let's start Okay, let's start. Uh, let's inside one text box here. Let's call it business. And let me select this text color as white and uh, font size as 40. And font style I'm selecting Hamitas. Let's duplicate this and let's place it here. Let me change it as business presentation. Now let me inside one more text box. I want to say some subheading type, so I'm just saying as long as of now. Okay, and uh, for this actually I'm selecting sky font and color. I'm choosing this blue color. Now let me inside one rounded rectangle also here at the bottom. Let's call it as presenter name. For this also let's select this as you go okay perfect so now we have to insert a couple of circles here so i'm selecting one big circle here and let me place it here for this i don't need any fill so i'm selecting no fill and for outline i'm selecting no i'm selecting this blue color outline now let me create a duplicate copy let's place it on top of it by holding control and shift key i'm just reducing its size and i'm creating one more circle by pressing control t and then again press control and shift and then you can reduce the size okay so we have some three circles here now let me create one more copy and this time actually i'll fill it with some solid color and i do need the outline so i'm selecting no outline and this is around 6.5 so i'm just making a 6.7 by 6.7 i just wanted to cover the third circle now let's select all of these four circles and align them into the center and middle uh, let's open the animation pane and on this circle I'm selecting this fly in animation. Let me open the animation pane also and select this to start with previous and the effect options. Let me choose this is more than as around 0.5 seconds and duration let me increase it to 1. Okay, now let's select this circle, click on this animation painter, apply on this business and on this presenter name and on this law option text box also now i need to insert one picture here so i'm inserting a picture which i have downloaded from pexels.com and the link is given in the video description it has some background actually so i have removed that background by using this format remove background option so now let's select this uh, image and go to animation screen and you can add this fly in animation on top of this as well this will also Duration will be one second and this will also start with previous. Let's have this as our first animation And let's add some delay here of around 0.25 seconds Just select all of them and click on this start with previous one more time So they all will start after once our picture will come there. Okay Under this go to effect option and you can add a 0.5 seconds of smooth end here as well Okay, so so far we are good only one last animation which we have to apply in this slide is on this presentation so i'm applying this white animation from the website okay and let's put it after this business and let's select this also as start with previous and let's increase its duration and let's add some more delay so once it is over then it should start actually okay now uh, i need to apply some animation on these three uh, hollow circles as well so i'm just going to selection pane and i'm just hiding this picture 10 and only 8 now let me select these three circles with just with borders without any fill go to animation apply this appear animation first you call it as start with previous and then you can apply one more animation so you click on this add animation and you can apply this grow and shrink animation on that as well and then you can select the start with previous now let's bring the picture and the tool again I can bring these three at the these two at the end and then I will select them together and one more time we'll select start with previous. I just increase this duration 
is to match both of them okay i think it is good if we play now it will play perfectly fine okay and then you can make this presenter name as also as bold okay so we are done with our first slide now for next slide uh, let's go to home again inside this oval shape here and then uh, let me rotate this a little bit something like this for this i don't need the outline and so i'm selecting new outline and i need some three copies of it so i'm creating another copy let me change its color so that it is visible and then we can align this on top of our previous one and then we have one more copy so this third copy i'm just pretending i'm keeping it here now i'll just copy this slide and i'll paste this on top of the second slide as a picture okay so it will come something like this now let's drag it from both the corners so that it will cover the entire slide now this oval two you bring it on top of this cover actually uh, so it is not visible let me change its color so you can see it okay now let's select this picture cover and this oval shape go to shape format and you can subtract this oval shape from the picture so we will have one cover on top of our oval as you can see we have got something like this now why we have created this i'll tell you in some time for this actually just right click on it and uh, i'll fill it as a picture so i'm choosing the same picture from my desktop okay and i don't want it to rotate with shape so i'll select i'll just select this rotate with shape uh, button okay till here we are good this also let's bring to front and let's keep it here and i don't need the any fill so i'll select no fill and in the outline i'm selecting this blue color okay till here we are good now if i go to animation and uh, i apply draw and shrink animation it will appear like this now suppose if we do not have this cover actually what will happen if if i remove this cover in the animation pane if i play this it will this entire shape will grow and shrink right which i don't want to appear on my uh, slide actually i want uh, this to be appear from that particular oval shape only so that is why i have created that cover and i have pasted here so if i play it again with that cover it will not go um, be, it will not go beyond the boundary of this oval right so that is how i have uh, created that cover and i place that cover okay now for this oval let us select this start with previous and for this also let's apply this wheel animation and this will also start with previous let's have some delay here and from slide number one let us select all these text and text box and place it here and let us do some changes with the alignment so this is let's say our business overview slide and here i'm talking about our product offerings or the service offering so this is my first offering which is called as product engineering okay let's create three such boxes okay this side already animation is there because we have uh, applied that animation in slide one and the same thing we are copying here so it is coming as it is only thing like for this particular thing i don't need this fly in i just need this float in animation so i'll just change this with float in animation and i'll click on start with previous uh, let's do some changes uh, with their duration so for this actually i'm selecting let's say 1.5 seconds similarly for all of them i also want to play them as 1.5 this is 2 so let's reduce it to 1.5 and here i want uh, this to be played after this so i'm adding some more delay here and just ensure like uh, these two will end at the same time so i'll just increase the duration okay now if i play them it will be something like this okay perfect okay so now let's create the third slide so let's copy this oval from second slide to third slide for time being i'm just uh, closing this animation window let me just 
I'll drag it here and let's change its direction to uh, say something like this. Okay, pop this actually. Uh, let's change its picture with some other picture. So let me choose this picture instead of that one. Okay. Perfect. Let's close this. Now I need a couple of more copies. So for this, um, I don't need any fill. I'm just selecting this with white color. And then I need one more copy. So there are three copies. Okay, now let's uh, copy the slide number four and paste this as a picture on top of this. Then you can drag it to cover the entire slide and bring this oval three on top of it. Now you can select both of them and from the merge shape, click on the subtract option and you'll have to get something like this. Okay, now let's bring this here and now uh, this also you need to bring to front. Okay, for fill, I don't need any fill. Outline, I'm selecting the same blue color. Let's make some adjustments. Okay, perfect. Now go to animation pane, and this is also having grow and shrink, which I don't need. So I'll just remove this grow and shrink, and instead of grow and shrink, I'll change that grow and shrink with the wheel animation. Okay, perfect. Now this is our product engineering. Here, actually, I want to play with previous. With some delay, it should start and then it should match the duration of the earlier Just Okay, perfect. So, so far we are good. Now, let's copy this from here so that we don't have to apply the animation again. And then we can change their place and position from that side to this side. Okay, now let's see how it is playing. Okay, it is playing perfectly fine. Now you only have to create some two more copies of it. Okay, so let's create one more slide on our team. So let us use this oval shape from our second slide. Now I need some three such ovals, so I'm just reducing its size and uh, let me place it like this. Okay, for them I don't need this picture fill, I need it to be filled with some solid color, so I'm choosing this white fill and I don't need the outline. Now let's create a duplicate copy and let's give them some other color so for time being let's give them this red color and let's align them on top of our previous one similarly i'm just creating one more copy and this i'm creating a group and let me place this group here okay now let's copy this slide 7 and paste it here as a picture and then we can drag this picture to cover the entire slide in it perfect now open the selection pane or you can simply click on the send backward button then you can select this shape uh, you can sel select this picture and these three shapes and go to shape format and then you will see you just subtract them and you'll get something like this now you place one rectangle for the top part select this picture and then this rectangle and then you subtract the rectangle from our picture so what you'll get, you'll get something like this. You only need the bottom portion of this color. Now let's insert picture of our team number. So I have this picture so of these three members. So let me place them one by one. Okay, now you can bring that cover to the front. Okay, so you'll have something like this. Now you can move this group to the front basically and then you can move it here. For filling I don't need the fill outline, I want some blue color outline, so I'm selecting this blue outline. Okay, perfect. Now let's go to animation and see 
if we have some existing animation so as you can see we have some animation on this these three ovals so let's remove that animation because i don't need this previous animation here for these three pictures you select and then you can apply the grow and shrink animation from the effect options you call it as 120 percent let's have it around 0.5 seconds of smooth end just drag them a little down okay and let's call them as start with previous similarly for this let's ungroup this first and apply the wheel animation on this this will also start with previous with some delay obviously let's use this product text box to make a heading for this slide so let's call it as our team and you can use this highlight text box again here let's reduce its size call it as name so this is your first executive this is second and third let's just align them to the center and for the description i'm choosing text from the original one just uh, increase some duration for them actually so instead of two let's call it as three and this let's increase a little more just have some more delay here actually Let's increase this duration to 1.5 and let me have some more delay here so that I just want uh, these two and at the same time. Okay, I think this is good now. Okay, so let's see how it is playing from the beginning. So let's go into the presentation mode and let's see. Okay, this is also fine. Perfect. So I hope you have liked this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share my channel. Thank you.